Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Good evening, Miss. Good evening. Yes. Hello, hello. Let me just check here. My internet is lagging right now. Hmm. <gasps> Only five people. Wow. That's nothing. Hello. I have a Alberto, Joanna, Mr. Carol, Janira. Good evening, good evening. Let me write the other students. We have another person. Just send them a meme so they can work. Okay, we have Joanna, Emerson, Carol, Pablo, Yanira, Eduardo Franco. Welcome to today's class. Right, we really appreciate it. Now we're going to start here working together with the activities that we have in mind. Okay, just give me one second. Yesterday we worked with gerunds, right? With gerunds. So can you tell me please, uh, Joanna, what do you remember about gerunds? Uh, and the use of gerund, mm -hmm. uh, three rules, a uh, subject, Mm -hmm. Adverb. Mm -hmm. Oh, complement. Object. So, object. Preposition. Preposition. Okay. Very good. Very good. Yes, we can use gerunds as subjects after prepositions, and we can use them as objects. Very good. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Joanna. Can you tell me more about gerunds? What do you remember? In your own words, um, Adalberto. Mm -hmm. Adalberto. Your microphone is off. I can use the object of the sentence. Mm -hmm. We can use it in the object. Okay. Subject there and Jerome is. And? Jerome as an object. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Alberto. Can you give me one of the examples that you remember for Jaren's Emerson? Yes, Miss. Mm -hmm. um, writing in English is difficult. <laughs> yes, it is. That is totally right. Writing in English is difficult. Perfect. Can you give me another example of Jaren's uh, Carla Eugenia? Hello, teacher. Hello. And there, on oración. No, I need you to give me an example of a sentence using gerunds. Um, no, but don't worry, because you did that yesterday. Ayer lo vimos, no hay problema. Yes, teacher, es cierto, ayer vimos lo de los gerundios. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. And 
Ejemplo de la, una, or, una oración. Eating eating and coffee is a uh, eating and coffee in a uh, Starbucks. Uh -huh. What happens? But can you eat a coffee? Do you eat a coffee? No, drinking, drinking a coffee, okay? Drinking a coffee in the Starbucks desert. Okay, and what is the verb? Remember, you need to have a verb. You have here, drinking a coffee in Starbucks yesterday. Okay, but what is the verb? We don't have a verb. Uh -huh. You see the example there? We don't have a verb. If we don't have a verb, we don't have anything. How can we in teacher <laughs> in is a preposition it's not a verb a coffee in a struggle no no what is a verb carla eugenia a coffee in a starbucks is not a verb ¿Qué es un verbo, Eugenia? Give me a moment, Elizabeth. What is a verb, Eugenia? And I... Tendría que haber utilizado en... Uh... No, ¿qué es un verbo, Eugenia? What is a verb? Es el que le da la acción a la oración. Ok, very good. So you don't have a verb. What is the verb? Drinking. No, drinking is the gerund. It's not the verb. Entonces no tendría verbo. La ahorita la oración. Claro que no tiene. What is the verb? Todo el mundo está de oyente, Santo Padre Celestial. Por. Me confunden cuando están de oyentes. Ok. How can, we, how can we change that? ¿Qué quería decir usted? Cuéntenos. Eh, había ido a tomar un café a Starbucks el día de ayer. Había ido, es presente perfecto, no lo hemos visto. Fui a tomar un café. En That Starbucks. is past. I went. That is past. I, went I am drinking coffee. a coffee in the Starbucks yesterday. I am drinking a coffee. That's a perfect sentence. Thank you. It's perfect. But it's present progressive. Okay. Recuerden que ayer dijimos de que cuando es, utilizamos el presente progresivo o el pasado progresivo eh, y eso no solo es para Eugenia, es para todos. Cuando decimos, I am drinking a coffee in Starbucks today. I am drinking, right? When, cuando yo digo, I am drinking, eso es presente progresivo. No es un germ. Es totalmente distinto, right? I can say, for example, drinking a coffee in a Starbucks is expensive, right? Drinking a coffee in Starbucks is expensive. Then I have my subject, drinking a coffee in Starbucks. My verb is, and my complement, expensive. But I need a verb. Do we understand this part? ¿Nos recordamos de ayer, chicos? Or not at all?
Let's see. Let's see more examples really quick. Necesito que... Uh, Necesito que en estos momentos se recuerden de, de, de cosas importantes. ¿Qué es un verbo? Y la función del verbo. Lo que acaba de decir Eugenia es el que le da la acción a la oración. Right? It gives the action to the sentence. That's one thing. Right? So we need to remember that. Also, you need to remember that a gerund is not the verb in the sentence. El gerund no trabaja como verbo en la oración. Simple. No es un verbo. ¿Ok? Right. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at this exercise. I want you to look at this exercise right now. Please. Can you see what it says, Jerons? Can you see that? No? Yes, miss. Yes. yes. Okay. Perfect. Now, Joanna, can you give me the answer for number one? Mm -hmm. Joanna? Letter A, teacher. Thank Letter. you very much for not smoking. Thank you very much for not smoking. Very good. Thank you so much. Right? Now let's continue there. Uh, Emerson, number two. Maria is ex extremely good at the making new friends. At making new friends. Very good. What is the verb in that sentence, Emerson? The verb is Maria is external. The verb? The verb is. The verb is. Is. Very good. Is is the verb. Very good. It's making. Continue there, please, Adalberto. Carlos. Carlos is used to have any his family near him. Very good. Thank you so much. Now, in this example, the verb is is used to. Eso creo que lo vamos a ver nosotros el lunes. Is used to. It's used to having. Right? Let's continue. Uh, let's see. Carla. Carla Eugenia. Most people. Most people dislike uh, Beijing. Bean, uh huh. Bean. Uh, I awaken. Okay, I awake. walk. Awaken. Bean. Yes, very good. Okay, Bean awaken. Like when you listen to the alarm, ring is, oh my God, no, I hate that. Being awakened. Very good, Eugenia. Now let's continue here. We have this. Uh, and we have, we're going to choose the option right here. Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Who else do I got? Email the start with the letter. Jose Alexander. Um, Mari Mari is inviting them to the get together was a mistake. Okay. Letter B. Yeah. Or letter A? Letter A. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Let's continue, Carol. Number six. Carol? Oh, Carol. Déjame llorar. Carol. No está Carol, se fue. Yo la acabo de ver aquí. 
Carol Elizabeth, ahí está. Miss, I'm here, but my, I have problem with my computer, uh, my cell phone, uh, internet. Me, me saca a cada rato, entonces estoy okay. así, por eso me he metido y salido como cinco veces. Vaya, eh, vi de, sería behave, being, behave, being, no, being, ok, uh -huh. be invite, invite, inviting, inviting, ok, inviting to her party was a big super surprise okay very good now b or c a b b okay let's see being invited oh. right to her party was a big surprise uh, being invited ser invitado being invited uh -huh. Uh -huh. being invited to carol's graduation was a big surprise to me right let's continue <laughs> there uh, let's see Bernardo? The answer for this? Um, B, I sometimes have understanding problem. My teacher, when she speaks quickly. Okay. Have understanding problem. It's letter C. Have problems understanding. My teachers, when she speaks, have problems understanding. Uh, let's continue with Eduardo. Are you participating? Está no, no, voy a participar. Okay, go with number eight, Eduardo. Okay. Uh, all my friends love going to movies. Okay, going to movies, A oh. or C. Oh, perdón. No, espérenme. No, no es go to, es, es B. B, B, B. B. Letter B. B. Letter B. Love, go to movies. Tan, tan, tan. Bah. Había escogido bien, fíjese. Love, oh. going to movies. Love, going to. Very good. Um, let's continue with Daisy. Biking. Okay. Biking, B or C? Um, by, B, biking, B. In the summer, they get around by biking. All right. And the last one, Joanna? I go shopping twice a day. Letter C. Let us see. Shopping with two P's. Very good. Shopping and shopping. Excellent. Let's take a look at the examples here, right? This is what we got, right? And these are the answers that we gave, right? Being invited, phrases that you need to take notes, right? Please take notes of the phrases. Being awakened. Being awakened by, ser despertado por, being awakened by. I'm going to put it here. Para que las empiecen a utilizar. Ok, let's see. Sorry, this is moving. Being invited. Being invited to a party, to a meeting, um, to anything, right? Have problems understanding. Son frases que ya se utilizan de esa forma, okay? Miss, uh -huh. eh, what is eh, pronunciation being? Being. 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 
Yes. Conté. Bean. 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 Ah, bean. Exactly. Thank That's you. what you're going to pronounce it. Very good. I just put some three phrases there in the chat. Three phrases that are going to help you for you to improve your vocabulary. So please try to use them. Okay. Now we're going to have here the attendance before we continue. It's 821. Uh, Carlos Vladimir. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos Álvarez. Present teacher. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present teacher. Elena Guadalupe Andrade Reyes. Present. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present Miss. Francisco Sánchez López. Francisco. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. Joana Lisbeth Eunice Alfaro de Canales. Present, Miss. José Alexander Hernández Carvajal. Present. José Bernardo López Montes. Present, teacher. Carla Eugenia Hernández Sotelo. Present, teacher. Carol Elizabeth Escalante Enríquez. Present, Miss. Luis Javier Castillo. Manuel Alfredo Hernández Ventura. Present Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Present teacher. Sara Abigail López Portillo. Sara Abigail. Tatiana Ivonne Torres Beltrán. Present Miss. Wendy Marlene Martínez Sánchez. Yanira del Carmen Gutiérrez. Present. Okay. Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Present. Okay, very good. Just let me check here. ¿Me hizo, ¿Me hizo falta alguien? No, right. Carlos, Manuel, Yanira, José, Oscar, Imelda. Permítanme. No está Imelda. Vamos. Ok. Very well. Let's continue. Do you have questions about gerunds? Please tell me. No? Okay, let's go ahead and start working right now with another activity. Yesterday we were supposed to work on exercise number five, right, in our book. And let me show it to you. Right, we're going to use these verbs. Ask, give, pay, have, provide, get, hire, and sell. Right, now, can you please read the verbs again, Joanna? Ask, guy, pay, have, provide, Get here, sell. So, very good. Eduardo, can you read the verbs? As you buy, how provide, get hire, sell. Okay. Let's repeat with me, Eduardo. Pay. Pay. Hire. Hire. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Now we have those verbs. What we're going to do right now is to use the verbs and we're going to put them in the correct position, either here, 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 etc. Right? So let's go ahead and work individually right now, right? To finish this conversation. Let's start, please. Individually, we're using gerunds, remember, asking, giving, blah, 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 right? Let's do it.
Did you finish? Tell me if you have questions, please. Do you finish? Do you have questions? Okay, thank you, Carla.
Only Carla has finished? Miss. Finish, okay. Okay, let's check the answers right now. What do you have for letter, uh, for number one, Eugenia? Number one. Está fallando el inter, uh -huh. Do we, yes, do we start giving to Christmas with off. Do we start giving to Christmas weeks off? Okay, what's the answer to that? I prefer paying, buying them to work one more with plus a bonus. Very good, excellent. Thank you, Henya. Uh, number next, Emerson, are you interested in? My products. In? In having new ideas. Having new ideas for products, okay. Continue. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Do you have? I love it getting some. Getting some. Okay. Number three. Who has number three? Uh, me, teacher. Okay. Paying salaries to employees each month is our priority. I totally agree with that. Besides, hiring new workers has to be another one. Okay, perfect. Hiring new workers and continue with number four. Thank you, Bernardo. Number four. No. Who has number four? Franco, you got number four? No, no, lo tengo. Okay. No sé si estará bien, pero uh -huh. Are you worried about asking the bank for uh -huh. Not really, I'm more concerned about selling the new product paid the employees. Okay, selling the new products to pay the employees. Now, do you have the same answers? Everyone? No, teacher. No? What do you have? And the first one I have, do we start getting to Christmas weeks off? Oh, I do prefer we start? Uh -huh. having them to work one more week plus a bonus. Okay. What about the others? What do you have?
Nothing. And three teacher. Uh -huh. uh, and buying, no lo puse ya, sí, yo puse pro, providing salarios to employees. Providing. In your priority. It should be a priority, okay? A priority, okay. What about the others? And I respond, um, as well, mm -hmm. is this, hear, hearing. Okay, the first one, right? Do we start giving to Christmas off? I prefer paying them, right? To work one more week plus a bonus, right? Do we start giving to, to Christmas off? I prefer paying them, that's correct. Right, that is correct. Number one is correct, right? Let's see, are you interested in having new ideas for products? Yes, I am, right? I love getting some, that is also correct, right? Paying salaries to employees each month is our priority. I would say paying salaries uh, can we use this more than one? Uh, uh, we can use here two, actually. We can say paying, right? Providing. Or providing. Both are correct, right? Because both make sense. So if you have paying here or you have providing, it's correct. Even you can have giving, right? giving salaries, providing salaries, paying salaries, both can, th the three answers can be possible, okay? Besides, hiring new workers has to be another one, yes? Are you worried about asking the bank for the new loan? Of course, right? Very good, excellent. No, these are good work answers, right? Very good, thank you so much. Everything here is correct. Thank you. Now, questions about this? Let's go with the conversation practice, right? Let's see, conversation one, Eduardo and Pablo, A and B, Eduardo A, Pablo B, right? Here, Eduardo and Pablo. Conversation two, we're gonna have Joanna, and Tatiana, conversation three, Bernardo and Carla, and conversation four, Carol and Jose. Okay, let's start. Do we start giving to Christmas week off? I prefer paying the then to work one more week plus a bonus. Number two, are you interested in uh, having uh, new ideas for products? Yes, I am. Do you have? I love getting some. Providing salaries to employees each month is our priority. Carla? I totally agree with that. That side hiring new work has to be another one. Okay. Are you worried about asking the bank for the new loan? Not really. I'm more concerned about selling the new products to pay the employees. Very good, guys. Thank you so much. My right, good pronunciation all. all. Right, so we have this exercise, right? And let's continue working here on our uh, book, right? On our class. Now, what we're going to do according to number six, right? Uh, can you please read the instruction for number six, Emerson? 
Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Your turn. Create a conversation about the important step of the cash flow cycle of your company. Say why each step is important to everybody. Okay. Now, what happens here? The cash flow is something related to accountants, right? To accounting. I think I, I only know one person in this class that is an accountant. That's Jose, right? The other ones, do we have another accountant, accountant here? Teacher. Okay, Daisy. Daisy and Jose, right? So what we're going to do is that we're going to modify this activity, right? Here is telling us to talk about the cash flow. So Daisy and Jose, they can talk about the cash flow of a company and how important it is. But for example, I am a teacher. I don't know about the cash flow of Inglés Corporativo. I just know that I get paid at the end of the month, right? That's it. I get the income for me, right? So what are you going to do? You're going to get together, right? You're going to work. I know that you do not work in the same companies, right? You work in different companies. So you're going to make a short conversation where you talk about an important uh, activity for you in your company. Right? For example, one thing that is important for me in my company, in Inglés Corporativo, is teaching English, preparing classes, right? Receiving webinars, right? So I need to tell why receiving webinars, it's important for me and for my company. Right, I cannot talk about uh, I don't know graphic design, or I cannot talk about, uh, uh, for example, what Javier does this uh, system of operation systems in the computer. I don't know about that. So you're going to talk about what you know, okay? What you know, and try to use gerunds. You can use future. You can use the present, but try to use at least two examples in your conversations should be with germs, okay? Is it clear what we're going to do? No? Yes, teacher. Yes, Jose says yes. What about the others? Yes, teacher. Yes? Remember, talk about the importance of what you do in the company, not the cash flow because the cash flow is only important for Jose and for Daisy, right? But for the other ones, what do you do in your company, Joanna? What is important in your company? Uh, preparing budgets. Preparing budgets, very good. That's one thing, right? So you can talk about that. What about you, Thank Eduardo? You. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Provision and service of service. Okay, providing services. Providing Very good. Services. So you can explain why providing services is important for your company. Right? Very good. Daisy, you were saying? Pay the pro, no sé cómo se pronuncia, proveedores. Pay the providers. Paying providers. the providers. Yes, if you don't pay the providers, then you will not have more raw materials right very good pay the, pay the, the salaries paying the salaries okay paying the salaries is important as well okay so that's what we're going to do think about what's important for you in your company and it's going to be a short conversation of course we are going to have oyentes as we can see per, permítame ver como cinco mensajes en, en whatsapp Manuel está de oyente. Eh, alguien que tiene unos audífonos está de oyente. No sé quién es. Elena está. Ah, ese es José, creo yo. Elena de oyente. Vladimir de oyente. Pineda de oyente. La ticha de oyente. Let's see here. Eduardo Emerson. Estamos trabajando, ¿verdad? Oscar va a trabajar. Yes, teacher, I'm ready. Okay, very good. 
Vamos a mover a Oscar a otra parte. Y okay, tenemos Joana. Sí, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. Entonces, en su grupo, Eduardo y Emerson van a tener a Elena de oyente. Joana y Oscar tendrán a Imelda de oyente. José y Luis, ¿vamos a trabajar? Yes, teacher. Yes, ok. Eh, ¿José Bernardo? Yes, teacher. Yes, ok. ¿Yanira? Yes, teacher. Ok, vamos entonces a mover a Yanirita de aquí. Carla Eugenia, sí. Carol también. Tatiana va a trabajar. Yes, Ok, Yanira va a trabajar. Sí, ¿verdad? Daisy yes, también. Sí. José y Manuel, no, ¿verdad? Ok. Tenemos a Daisy y a Yanira. Y en el último grupo vamos a tener... ¿Francisco va a trabajar? ¿No? Wendy tampoco. Pablo sí, ¿verdad? Ok. So let's get to work. Estaré de oyente, me dice. Bueno. Ahí le van a ir unos cuantos oyentes, chicos. Right. Let's get to work. Por favor, los oyentes, aunque estén de oyentes, denle clic aquí. Porque cuando viene el supervisor, piensen que aquí los hemos dejado tirados. Por favor, denle clic a su grupo para que vayan a escuchar. Van a estar de oyentes, van a estar de oyentes. Vámonos. Vámonos, cipotes. Let's get to work. Vamos. Vamos. Imelda, Emerson, Francisco, Carol. A Dalberto le cayó la, la invitación. Carol, Imelda, por favor, a su equipo. Imelda y Carolina, por favor. Carol Elizabeth. Que jugamos. Ah, ok, ok. O sea, por ejemplo, eh, en mi caso... Sería, eh, my company is import to do business. O sea, hacer business o, o close business, cerrar, cerrar negocios. Eso es lo importante para nosotros, ¿verdad? como compañía. Y también, o sea, como función principal mía, ¿verdad? ¿Así entendí yo? No sé. Teacher. Pero dígame en inglés. Ah, ok. Este, uh, my, my company is import uh, to do business or to do uh, or close to okay. close business. Pero ahí me está diciendo para que su compañía es importante. Important. Important. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Your company. But I'm not talking about your company. I'm talking about your functions. Why function? your functions are important for the company. ¿Por qué lo que usted hace es importante para su compañía? No porque la compañía es importante. ¿Ok? Why uh, what you do it's important uh, for the company. ¿Ok? That's what we need uh, to know. Okay. ok. Ok, let's start.
Okay. Entonces, eh, eh, en, en mi caso sería my, fush, my fusion is import because important. Eh, is import. Uh -huh. Important. Important. Sí, porque import es importar. Ah, ok, ok. Ok. Entonces sería important eh, because is a uh, do, do business. Ok, pero ¿cuál es su función? Usted solo dice my function. Por ejemplo, teaching English is important for inglés corporativo because if they don't have teachers like me, they are not going to have students. So I believe that also for me, uh, preparing a good class is important for my company because that is how the company sees, how the students see my class, right? So what is your function? Is your function um, preparing budgets, uh, preparing a meeting, taking notes? What is your function? Driving. There are many functions that we do in the company, right? No, there are, okay. ¿Cuáles son okay. sus funciones? Mm -hmm. Okay. My function is a preparing a report. Preparing reports, okay. Is, Why is uh, important? Is imp important is um mm, la 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 función eh, función pri principal la función principal no me tiene que decir la principal solamente dígame una función o solamente armen su conversación porque mm -hmm. lo que ustedes hacen es importante ok, okay. eso okay. es todo mm -hmm. ok pero mencionan usando gerundio. Como decía Elizabeth, eh, paying the salaries, paying, eh, preparing the budget, uh, checking the cash flow. Eso es lo que ella hace porque ella es contadora. Lo que hace Adalberto puede que sea uh -huh. diferente. Y lo que hace usted es diferente. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. okay. Vámonos entonces. Los, voy, los dejo okay. para ver otro equipo. Bye, bye. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sí. Nuevo servicio. Los nuevos servicios a prestar o, o, o sabes cuál es como lo más importante de los servicios que pretenden prestar la compañía, algo así sería la más buena. Me I interrupt you. Uh, remember when you say hello Franco, did you realize? Realize. No realizing. Porque ahí sí es el verbo. Está haciendo una just no question. Uh -huh. Did okay. you realize about the new policies of the company? Muy buena pregunta. Very good. Bye bye. Bye, Miss. <laughs> Thanks. Ok, bye. Bye. entonces iríamos. Me preguntarías entonces, ¿sabes de los nuevos servicios que brindará la empresa? Ajá, para que haya días, sí, y para que haya días. Ah, no, o sabes, como, cuáles son los, como dijo ya, lo importante, los, los servicios más importantes que se prestarán, y entonces ahí hablamos de los servicios, okay. o de las actividades, de las actividades más importantes, sabes de las actividades más importantes, algo así. Sería, vamos a ver. No. What is the ¿Sabes qué es eso? ¿Cuál qué es? Ah, do you know? Es? Ahí podríamos usar no, aquello. Sí. Eh, así va. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know eh, most important activities? 
Do you know Peranta Seria most important activities? Seria, do, do you know? Ajá, hay que borrar todo eso. Asa, what? Sí, what? No, así no hay. Do you know the, the most, las, las más, las actividades más importantes? No. Ah, ¿Tú conoces? Uh -huh. sería, di, pero ahí sería di, después de now, di, di most, di, t h -E. uh -huh. The most important uh -huh. activities. Ajá, aquí es eh, that company eh, sí. The company, the company made, o no sé cómo podría decir que la compañía. Ahí dice. Brindaría. La, ajá, o que la compañía. Sí, como brindaría. Uh -huh. okay. Se podría dar, se podría poner ahí el, el, el giving, no. No sé. Sí, daría, brindaría. Quiero ver. Provide, brindar no, provide, provide. Sí. Uh -huh. Pero sí, en el gerundio, ojalá, pero provide. Que brinda la empresa. O, okay. Porque si le ponemos el gerundio no queda bien. No. Uh -huh. Sería como les pregunta de sí o no. Uh -huh. Tendría que ser igual el verbo. Sí. Do you know the most important activities the company? Provide. Provide. To provide. For the customer. Yo respondería. Yes. Yes, I know it. Eh, y ahí ahora, ahora hay que hablar de la. Ahora en esa parte que creo que hay que hablar ya de cuáles son las actividades. Ajá, ya de cuáles son. Uh, sí, yo sé. Eh, si están las actividades, iría a mencionarlas. Entonces después ahí nos empezamos a hablar de las actividades. Como que así se escribe. Really? Ajá, no, really? Ah, y ahí el, el signo de admiración. Ajá. Ajá. Really? Tatiana. Yes. I checking. I checking. Aparte de las cuentas, so, son cuentas corporativas. No, eh, trabajo en una cooperativa y soy la encargada de cuentas. O sea, de los asociados. Ay, ah, pero no es copa usted. No, acá se cae, se llama, es de la compañía general de equipos. Hmm. Bueno, me acerca más a este volado porque no me cuesta. Hay checking. Ah, no, entonces sería. Yes. ¿Cómo podría ser? Yes. En hay. Ah, pero es que como no es una, una respuesta, digamos, sin, sin el jet bike. Me borro mm. el jet. Ay. Solo yes. No, sin el jet. Sería. Ah, pero eh, de verdad. Ah, que usted me está preguntando de verdad. Yes. Ah, pues sin yes. 
Yes. Este, ahora mencionar que este es relacionado con cooperativa. Ah, is, eh, ¿cómo es ¿cómo se llama? Relación. Relación is. Yo creo que es al revés. Es relacionado con, con cooperativa, no sé cómo se dice. No, y en relación tú. On tú. No, sin el don. Cooperativa. Cooperativa. Así. No, con V. Dios, eh, 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 ese. Así. Así, coma. Uh -huh. I love my work. Bárbara. <ríe> ya nos llamó. Uy, y no le tomé. A ver, la va a tomar el cringe. Espéreme, espéreme, antes de que me tome el script, eh, hay que me jale cuando ya acabe, ahí ya terminado el tiempo. Va, ya tomé ya mi script. Va, entonces, pero igual yo lo voy a compartir cuando nos, pre, nos pida que, Ay, que lo digamos. Vaya, ahí, ahí nos despedimos, see you later, y así va. Va, cabal. Hasta ahí, démoslo. <risas> ya lo voy a poner. Carla. Ah, ¿Cómo le podía decir? Ok. Yo también, ah, eh, no, ah, o podría poner ahí tú. Yo también. No sé cómo se escribe. Yo también amo me mi trabajo. Me too. I work. I love work. Sería. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. So we're going to start here and we're going to listen to some of the conversations before we continue with our class. Right. So I would like to start with. Um, who wants to start? Volunteers? OK, Bernardo, go. Sorry. Hello, Luis. How was your day? <clears throat> Hi, Bernardo. It was very busy. I had to electronic security. Selling security products are very hard because the sales are, are low and clients aren't paying the new price. And what about you, Bernardo? I'm very busy too. Right now, we are forging new tools. Getting first to the market is the most important to do. We just have that, teacher. Perfect. But just leave it there. Uh, I was very busy. I have to do what? You need a verb. I have to do something. I have to. He says, hi, Bernardo. It was very busy. I have to. Yes. Sell electronic security. Very good. Selling security products is very hard. Remember that you're referring to selling, not to the products. Okay. Right? It's very hard because the sales are low and clients aren't paying the new prices. Right now, we're for, for you not to, right now it's together. Getting first to the market is the most important thing to do. Important thing to do. Very good, excellent. We have there selling, 
security products. That's one of the journals. And the other one is getting first to the market. Very good. Good job. Thank you. Now, who's next? Bernardo, you decide who is next. Um, Tatiana. Tatiana. Con Carla, with Carla. With Carla. Okay. Yes. Hello, Carla. How are you? Fine, Tatiana. And you? I am good. What is your activity in the company? My activity is, is administrative manager. What is your function? My, fush, my function is the solution of problem in the different department and give an ask word. And you, Tatiana? My word is checking account. Really? Yes. Irrational, <laughs> in relation to cooperative, I love my work. I, I love also, uh -huh. I also love my job. It was a pleasure talking to you. <laughs> yes. Goodbye. You? Now, make it bigger, please. Hágalo un poquito más grande. O sea, ahí, donde dice 100, hágalo más grande, va. Okay, very good. Hello, Carla. How are you? Fan Tatiana and you. I'm going to your activity in the company. This. Okay, now there is a difference between what you do and the activities that you do. I am a teacher. What do you do? I am a teacher. Right. What is the activity that you do in the company? I teach English or teaching English, right? You see the difference? Right, so my activity is managing the, the administrative uh, staff, right? What is your function? Function and activity is the same. Function, activity, the same, okay? Mm -hmm. My function is solving problems, solving problems, in the different departments and giving answers and giving answers. Gerundio, giving. Giving answers, sí, gerundio, el gerundio en español y el gerundio en inglés es totalmente distinto. Okay, no es gerundio, es yearn. Okay, giving answers, giving answers. My work in checking account. Ahí le hizo falta de nuevo el verbo, Carla. My work in checking accounts. My work what? My work, the subject. In checking accounts, complement. What is the verb? Tatiana. Um, sería revisar. Okay, my work. Checking. Is. Is checking, checking the accounts. The is checking the accounts. My work is checking the accounts. Really, really, si lo vamos a utilizar de, de sorpresa, tiene que ir con signo de interrogación, no de admiración. Really? You need to put a question mark. Yes is related to um what is that All right cooperative cooperative what do you mean cooperative cooperative society Cooperative. related to cooperative to a cooperative is related mira el chat por favor y vayan haciendo los cambios después is related to cooperative to a cooperative society 
I love my work. Very good. I also love my job. Very good. Excellent. Cooperativa, cooperative society. Very good. Excellent. Who is next? Carla Eugenia. Um, Luis Javier. Luis Javier. Tan, 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 tan. Ya estuvo teacher con Bernardo. Usted participó, no era Pablo. Estoy dormida. No, ok. Veamos, gracias, Javier. Es como Ay, alguien, Javier. Tener la voz de Juan Pablo. <ríe> no. Ok, escoja, bueno, escojamos a Pablo, entonces. Pablo. Hey, Daisy. Eh. Hello, Daisy. How are you? Hi, Pablo. Hi, thank you. Uh, what do you do in your company? Um, in my company, my position is an accountant, accountant in, charge, in charge of recording all the financial moments of the company in the accounting books, reports, and necessary documents. Wow, what I do? Uh, and my function, main function is a coordinator in maintenance, action and maintaining security in every operation I do with my colleagues. And, and you, uh, Yanni? Um, and my position in the company is import because I having to close lost in business, prepare cups and visit clients. Finish, teacher. Okay, thank you so much. Remember, Janina, important. Important. Right, thank you so much. Who is next, Pablo? Um, Carol. Carol, 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 Carol. Carol, I think she didn't work, but. Uh, miss, I uh, know. Sí, sí, uh, sé no, que no, no hice el ejercicio, pero. Uh -huh. ajá. Let's see, Carol, what she was with. Carla Eugenia y Tatiana ya pasaron, veamos. Oh, y that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Joana and Oscar, right? Is the last one. Let's listen to you. Okay. Uh, good evening, Oscar. How, how are you? Hi, Elizabeth. I am stressed because I have too much work. What activities do you make? I make checking to reports, creating routes of payments, and printing bills. Are these activities important for your company? Yes, it is. Mining is necessary. Yes, the management is important to uh, developing of the company. That's right. Learning every day is very interesting. Good luck with your work, Oscar. Blessing. Finish, teacher. Excellent, excellent, Joanna and Oscar. I just put some of the things that you need to work with, right? Stressed out, stressed out. Like, oh, I'm stressed out, right? I uh, don't Stressed Acá. out, yes. Out. You can see the chat, yes. Uh, because I have too much, too much, like a lot, too much. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What cool. activities do you do? Do instead of make. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. For developing. Okay. Aquí teníamos la duda en. Um, 
are this, this activity uh, plural? Uh, the cosas también es they. Yes. Ah, okay. Yes, they are. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> okay, and everything else is perfect. We have learning, managing, creating, right? Uh, I make. Um, I make checking the. Rep I make checking the report about the payments. I. Permit. I make checking to reports. What do we want to say? I. I check the reports or I work on checking the reports, maybe. I work on checking, I work on checking the reports, T-H-E. Mm -hmm. Creating rights of payments, very good. And printing bills, excellent, Joanna and Oscar. Very good conversation. Very, very good. Now, in our book, we have on page 43, that's an exercise that uh, it's, it's a little bit of math, pretty much. If you go to the book, right, we just go there and this is a consolidated bal bal uh, balance sheet from January 31st, 2017. I, and we have some information with numbers and the questions are just related about the total, the totals that you're gonna get with this, right? You can use your calculator later and figure that out, okay? No worries. But I would like to focus on this topic, zero conditional. Eso no nos va a ayudar mucho a mejorar nuestro inglés, okay? But this one will. So let's go ahead and talk about zero conditional and how it works with us. Now with zero conditional, <laughs> microphone please. Thank you. Now, what do zero conditionals do? Zero conditionals pretty much the structure is very simple. Right, because what we're going to do is to use the simple present, right? That's what we do. And we know the simple present, but you will say, okay, Sylvia, we use the zero conditional, but why, right? The conditionals, all of the conditionals, what they do is that they give us a condition, right? Something that we, something depends on another thing, okay? So that's what they are for. If we don't have a dependence, then it's not a conditional. So I would like you to look at this right now, right? Let me put it here. Give me a moment. Sorry. Okay, zero conditional. Now, like I said, the zero conditional is that, is a condition, right? That's pretty much what we do, right? When we have a zero conditional, uh, we're talking about general truth or facts, right? So let's put it here, right? The function, function, oops, sorry. Use zero conditional to describe or talk about general truth, facts, right? We're going to use it to, to talk about general truth or facts or scientific facts, right? Something that is scientific. So very, very similar to the simple present.
this is what we're going to have, right? This is my function, right? You say, oh, zero condition, but why? Para que voy a usar eso, right? To talk about general truth, facts, or scientific facts. What is that? Something that always happens. Something that is always true, right? That's when we're going to have this conditional. Now, when we have a conditional, for example, right? We're going to put here, example. If you heat ice, Right? What happens? What happens if you go to the kitchen, you turn on the oven, right, with a with a match, right, and you put ice in the kitchen. What happens to the ice? It melts. It melts. Excellent. It melts. Right? And this is something that is a fact. Right. It's true. Every time you do that, right, it's going to happen, right? So it's something I say, oh, yes, it melts, right? So if you hit ice, it melts. So we have there, right, an example with zero conditional. Now, what are we going to do right now right, with the zero conditional as well? We need to be very careful, right, with the tenses, right? Because these are made of an if clause and the main clause, right? How is that? We have this, our example, right? Let's put it here. I think we're gonna grab it from here. Give me a moment. Okay, now that we have our example here, this first part, right, this, right, it has one name, and this other part has a different name. Now, this part, right, this is called what we say in English, right, if clause, that's their name, if clause, right? And this is the main clause. What is it main clause? There is a difference. We have if clause, main clause. The main clause, it has meaning by itself. We can say it melts, the eyes melts, right? But what happens, what happens if we do something like, like this? What happens if we do something like this? If you hit ice, it doesn't make sense, right? You say, if you eat ice, what? What happens, right? The idea is cut. So what we do is that we complement this but if we put this, for example, we like this, it mails. This one has a subject and a verb. Subject verb. This one it has if plus subject plus verb. So it's different, right? Now, also, when we work with if clause and main clause, right, we need to pay attention to this, right? We're using here, Simple present. Comma. Simple present. Right? This is the structure, grammatical structure that we are using every time that we make a zero conditional. Simple present, simple present. If you put simple present and future will, uh-uh, 
Past and future, no. Simple present and um, the past tense, uh -uh. it must be simple present and simple present. If you pay attention to this, heat, melts, right? So this is simple present. Do you understand this part right now, guys? Is it clear? Do you have questions? Please ask questions. In el, in el yes, make, I have a question. Make clause. Mm -hmm. Sorry, in el make clause, no es necesario el verbo to be, in el, it, it is. No. Remember that you can use the verb to be if you have another example, right? But in this case, the main verb is melt. So we put it melts. It is melt is incorrect. Uh, it's que entonces? The eyes. This it, wow. uh -huh. this it, is referring to the ice. If you hit ice, it melts. Instead of if you hit ice, ice melts. No, if you hit ice, it melts. In English, we avoid repetition. We do not repeat the same ideas over and over again. We use subject pronouns, are you, we, they. For example, if we say here, if, if Joanna studies hard, she gets good scores. If Joanna studies hard, Joanna gets good score. We don't want to say Joanna again, right? So instead of saying Joanna again, we use she. So the same happens here. Is that clear? Yes, Javier? It's... Okay. Now, we got here, like we say, if clause and main clause, and we have this. One important part of this is the word if, right? That's very, very important. Now, what happens when we have another phrase, right? We're gonna make it here, right? We can also say, right? We can also use it like this. It melts. Sorry. When you hit ice, it melts. So sometimes we sometimes listen to this. Sometimes you can change if with when, right? What is the meaning of when? Tatiana, do you remember the meaning of when? When. What is the meaning of when, Tatiana? Cuando. Exactly. When you hit ice, it melts, right? So if you pay attention to this, right, everything else is going to be the same. We put this, right? We say, oh, okay, perfect. Simple present, simple present. We have a comma, right? We also have the if clause, right? We're gonna put it here, but now it's not going to be a if clause. This is going to be a when clause. Teacher, and what is the, the, the difference? The meaning is going to be the same, okay? The only thing is that in English is giving us two options. You can use if or when, if it makes sense, right? Now, do you understand these examples right now? Uh, teacher, I yes. can say, uh, if you hit me, 
it's hard or when you hit me it's hard when you hit me it hurts yes it hurts when you hit me when you have the word when it makes sense right you can make a change there very good right now for example we can change here right Look at what he says. It hurts when you hit me, right? What happens here? When we, you, when we put the main clause at the beginning of the sentence, right? That we put it here and not at the end, the comma disappears, right? We don't use a comma. Right, it doesn't make sense if we put a comma, it hurts comma when you hit me, no. It hurts when you hit me, right? But the purpose is going to be the same. This is going to be our when clause, right? Give me a moment, my computer is crazy. Right, this is going to be my when clause and this is going to be my main clause. Right. The only thing, the only difference is the comma, but the meaning is going to be the same. Now, I want you to tell me if you have questions right now. Please look at the examples and tell me if you have questions. Yes. I'm. Um, this is an action, actually, real. It's real. Yes. Real. Yes, it's something that always happens. It's a um, real action and answer. No, pregunta y respuesta. Or, or it's a situation situation okay it's a situation okay mm -hmm. okay i'm gonna put you right now some examples right just give me a moment Give me a moment here. I need to show you a PowerPoint. But I need to access. Give me a second. I'm putting the password. Estamos poniendo la password. La password. Da 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 da. Yes. Um, algo así como. When you when you cooking, when you cook, when you cook, mm -hmm. may I gusta? When I when you cook, I like it. Yes, when you cook, I like it. Very good. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Right. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, I think we got access right now. Okay, so let me put it here. I'm gonna show my computer. Okay, yes. Let me save this before we go. Can you see my computer? Yes. Okay, so we have other examples, right? Look at the examples here, right? We have, if you hit water, to 100 degrees, it boils, right? That's, ha that's always true, right? Let's see the next example. Can you read the second example, eh, Eduardo? 
if I am late for class, my teacher gets hungry. Hungry. Angry. Angry. Very good. Let's continue. Look at this. If I am late, simple present, I am late for class, my teacher gets angry. Simple present, simple present. Joanna, read the second example. If it rains and I don't have an umbrella, I get wet. I get wet. That's true, right? You can see that. For you. <laughs> yes, for, 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 for Julia. <laughs> exactly. Okay, let's see. Next one. I read the example. <laughs> Uh, Daisy? Okay. Um, if people eat too much, they get fat. Okay. That's true, mm -hmm. right? If you eat a lot of pizza, french fries, costillitas, right? You drink Coca Cola, right? You get fat. Very good. Look at this example. Hey, Javier. If I study too much, I get really tired. That happens to me. <laughs> if I study really hard, right, or too much, I get really tired. Simple present, I study, I get, right? We can use it with third person. If Tatiana studies, too much, she gets really tired, right? Now, we're going to make a quick review, right? Quick, quick review. In this review, I am going to put some of the examples and you are going to tell me what do you have, right? What do you understand? We're going to do it in groups. Look at this. What's the best option, A, B, or C? If people eat lots of candy, A. A. They gain weight. Okay. Let's see. Very good. Yay. They gain weight. Not simple past, not present progressive. Uh -uh. Simple present, right? Number two. Oh, that happens to me. If I wake up late. See. Sí. Okay, I am late for work. See, sí. sí. very good. Right, very, very good. Next one. When it's cold, like today, when it's cold. See. Sí. C. When it's called, B. if I wear a jacket, hmm, uh huh. B. B. I always wear a jacket. I always wear a jacket. We cannot mm. use if I wear a jacket because if and when is the same. Mm, okay. Right? Mm. Very good. If I don't have much money, <laughs> I I am heading out. See? Uh, no, 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 no. I don't See. eat out. I don't eat out. Right. Simple mm -hmm. present. Okay. Simple present. I don't eat out. Very good. That's why. One... When you put water in the freezer. It has this is frozen. It, it has, has frozen. frozen. It has frozen. Has frozen is present perfect. Yeah. It, uh, it, it, freezes. it freezes. It freezes. Very good. Good job. Very good. Good job. Good job. Now we have there our examples of uh, the zero conditional, right? We do we understand the explanation here? How it goes? Yes, miss. Yes? 
Yes. yes. Okay. Do you have questions? No? Let's get to the book. Let's go to the book right now. In the book, we have examples, of course, right? We have questions here also, right? Miss, mm -hmm. is always a simple present? With zero conditional, yes. There are there is there are four types of conditionals zero, first, second, and third conditional. Right now it's only zero. Okay. Now let's continue. We have the examples here. Let's go ahead and try to use number, try to complete number five, right? We have the verbs here, right? Let's pay attention to that and let's finish the conditions, right? Let's start individually, please. While you do that, you remember I take the attendance, right? So pay attention. Mientras ustedes trabajan en eso, yo veo la, ten, la, la, la asistencia. ¿Dónde están? ¿Dónde están? Give me a moment. Here you are. Okay. Carlos Vladimir Rodríguez Díaz. Present teacher. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos Álvarez. Present teacher. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present. Elena Guadalupe Andrade Reyes. Present. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present, Miss. Francisco Sánchez López. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. Chagalín Vanessa Parrilla. Joana Lisbeth Eunice Alfaro de Canales. Present, teacher. José Alexander Hernández Carvajal. José Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. Carla Eugenia Hernández Sotelo. Present teacher. Carol Elizabeth Escalante Enríquez. Present means. Luis Javier Castillo. Present. Manuel Alfredo Enrique Hernández Ventura. Present teacher. Oscar Noé Magaña. Present teacher. Sara Vigay López Portillo. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Present, Miss. Wendy Marlene Martínez Sánchez. Present. Yanira del Carmen Gutiérrez. Present. Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Present. Ok, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Did you finish the exercise? Did you finish? No? Let's do it.
Did you finish? Yes. Yes, teacher. <clears throat> Let's wait one more minute. It sounds like Eduardo finished, Joanna finished, right? Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's start here, okay? Let's go with number one. I'm gonna put numbers. Names here, right? Joanna Dowling. Okay. And Pablo. Okay, let's go. You have the names there for your answers. <laughs> if I wake way up late, I I am late for work. Okay. Thank you. Now repeat with me. I am. Okay, I am late for work. Wake up. Yeah. Repeat. Wake up. Wake up. Very good. Wake. Number two. Number two. Franco, number two. Uh, my son born the food if he cook alone. Okay, so burn and cook. Like that? Sí, sí. Okay. Now, what changes do we need to make to the verb, Eduardo, when we are in simple present? Do we change the verse with third person singular? What do you say, I don't understand. We are working with third person singular in simple present. My son, he, what happens to the verb? Ah, uh, sería uh, uh, my... Uh, no, no. But you know the simple present, right? Uh, if it's bar. No. That's a verb to be. Okay, for example, if I have here, right, the verb mm, drink, right? Drink, that's the verb, drink. With this verb, right, that I have here, I can say, I drink, I drink. You drink, they drink, we drink. But when I have third person, I need to say, she drinks, he drinks. It drinks. So what happens to this verse? Uh, don't, don't have S. Okay, so what is the answer? My son? Born. 
Barnes. Excellent. If he cooks. Cooks. Thank you so much, Franco. Very good. Go with number three, please, Emerson. Okay. If employees don't eat well, they aren't healthy. Excellent. They aren't healthy. Very good. Joanna? Hey. It's when. When? When she pays her bills on time, she doesn't have to pay extra money. Doesn't have. Very good. Right. Number five, Carol. If, if the comps are good, I employees, employee receives a bonus. Receives a bonus. Okay. Excellent. And number six, Pablo. We sell more products when we know the customer needs. That is true as well. When we know the customer's need. Perfect. Excellent job. Right. Now, tomorrow we are going to keep working with the third with the zero conditional. Why, right? We have more exercises. We're going to do grammar exercises and speaking exercises. But first, I would like you to practice again in your house, simple present, the, uh, the rule of verbs, right? The rule of verbs with S. Go back and study that again. It's important you do that, right? Uh, questions right now? No, miss. No? Nobody has questions with the first condition? This time, tomorrow we're gonna practice. Here we have some exercises, but I, I do have other exercises here. Right, let me put two questions. We're gonna start with two questions for tomorrow. Da, 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 da. Okay, I'm gonna show you right now, just one question, right? And I want you to tell me your answer in the chat, okay? The question is in the chat right now. What happens if you watch a sad movie? That's my question. What happens if you watch a sad movie? Okay, very good. That's the part. So if I watch a sad movie, I cry. Write the complete conditional. If I watch a sad movie, I cry. Carlos, if I watch a sad movie, I, I fall asleep. I fall asleep. Right? Very good, Carlos. Write your complete sentence, your complete answer. If I watch a song, I feel bad. Very good, Jose. Complete answers, Adalberto. I, I am entertained. I am. If I watch a sad movie, I am entertained. Complete your sentences, your conditionals. Hagan las oraciones completas. Please. I am entertained. I am happy. If you watch a sad movie, you're happy. Carol. Well, that's a feeling. Sorry. Le voy a respetar su sentimiento. If I watch a sad movie, I am scared. 
Hagan las oraciones completas, Javier y Emerson. Oraciones completas. Ahí me están haciendo solo un pedazo. If I watch a sad movie, I, I am entertained. I am entertained. What happens if you smile and say hello to people? What happens if you smile, if you always smile and say hello to people? Complete sentences, Pablo Adalberto. If I watch a sad movie, I cry a lot. Very good. I lost time. I lost time. I lose time. Lost es pasado. I am es presente. No se pueden ir juntos. Ok. Revisemos el presente, por favor, para todos. Recuérdense para mañana. Right. Right. Let's go ahead and check on that. So today is the day for Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Si se va a quedar, este día le corresponde para la asesoría. Right. Si no, está el espacio disponible. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a beautiful rest of the night. Right. And see you Friday. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, Miss. Good night. Good night. Sure. I Joanna, I feel appreciated. I feel appreciated. Okay, Miss. Thank you. Oscar? Yes, teacher. Tiene preguntas, Oscar? Permítame. Luis y Imelda, por favor, desconectense. Okay. ¿Tiene alguna pregunta para mí, señor Magaña? Sí. Eh, quiero ver, creo que fue en la clase del martes. Uh -huh. Sobre el subject question. Uh -huh. Y está el otro, no me recuerdo cuál era. El object que question. Me... Ese, object question. Object question. Object. Me generaba un poco de dudas la, la similitud que tenía, porque al parecer uno es para hablar sobre el sujeto y el otro es de a, a quién va la acción de, de, dicho, de dicha oración. Exactamente. Entonces, o sea, no sé si estoy en lo correcto o lo entendí mal, pero ese era más que todo. Mi sí, está en lo correcto, pero sus ejemplos no estaban en lo correcto. Vaya, usted lo que va a hacer con el subject question, Oscar. Es eso. Usted quiere saber acerca del sujeto. Por ejemplo, quiere decir. Who. Vamos a poner aquí. Who. Ask. Questions. Today. In the class. Ok. This is my question. Who. Ask questions today in the class. We're going to answer, right? We just need the subject, right? We can say Oscar. Esa puede ser toda nuestra respuesta, right? It's a subject. Who asked questions today in the class? Oscar, right? Es opcional si nosotros queremos poner toda la respuesta. Oscar asked questions today in the class, right? So this will be optionable. 
we don't have to say it. Lo pongo en paréntesis porque siempre que ponemos en paréntesis sabemos que es opcional. Right? Si yo pregunto, por ejemplo, mm, who, let's see, who, who is going to go to the beach next weekend? Who is going to go to the beach next weekend? ¿Cuál es mi respuesta? ¿Cuál es lo que, ¿Qué es lo que se espera? ¿Quién, ¿Quién va a ir? A... ¿Quién va a ir? ¿Quién? Estamos absorbiendo un sujeto. Ah, Oscar and his girlfriend. Right? Oscar and his girlfriend. Right? We can put here, like I said, the option. Right? Oscar and his girlfriend are going to go to the beach next weekend, right? But this is optional, I are going to go. So you can give here your subject, it can be one or it can be plural, it doesn't matter. It can be in past, it can be in present, in future, Right, as long as we answer what we are looking for. We're asking for who, and this is my who, right? I'm asking here for who, and this is my who, right? So do we understand that part? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, subject question, right? Subject question, exactly. Now we have, oops, sorry. We have the object question. Right, for example, we say here, mm, right. who did you work with in the hospital? Right, who did you work with in the hospital? Now, my question is who? Right? I'm asking for a person. Yes. Right? Si utilizo who es porque estoy preguntando por una persona. Right? But then my answer is going to be quite different. Look at the answer. I worked with uh, Luis in the hospital. I work with Liz in the hospital. So my answer is Luis, right? With whom? With Luis. Now, se parecen, ¿verdad? Pero what happens here? That here, here, I don't need a verb. I can just say Oscar, Oscar and his girlfriend. This, the verb and the verb, it's optional, right? Now in here, when I work with Luis in the hospital, my answer is after the verb. Lo que yo estoy preguntando es mi objeto. ¿Y cómo sé que es mi objeto? Porque está, o como usted dijo, es lo que, donde recae la acción, ahí del verbo. I work with Luis, después del verbo. Right. Si yo lo tengo antes del verbo, es sujeto. Si lo tengo después del verbo, es objeto. ¿Ok? Good. Ok, more questions, Oscar. Can you give me an example? Uh, ok. Uh, subject question. When the... When uh, or who? When, when. Pero Juan nos va a preguntar por persona. Eh, no, no. no, sería de poco. ¿Tien? ¿De tiempo? ¿Se Ajá. No, porque bueno. estamos preguntando por un sujeto. ¿Y el sujeto quién es? Una persona. Una persona. Ajá. O un gerundio. Gerundio. Ajá. Entonces sería who. Who. Y 
study who did study? you study who did you study with right. okay ahora deme la respuesta vamos a ver who did you study with no eh, Oscar no study uh -huh. Who did you study with? I study with my work. With my? Who work? Co-worker, okay. With my co-worker. Le voy a hacer una pregunta. Okay, we're using who. What is my answer when I say who? Who. Okay, yeah. what is my answer? Acerca de quién estoy preguntando. ¿Con quién? Ajá. ¿Y con quién es, con quién es mi respuesta? With my coworker. Very good. With my coworker. Ahora, si lo vemos de esta forma, ¿cuál es el verbo? Verbo. Study. Study. Very good. Study. Okay, is this a subject question or an object question? Uh, this is a subject question. Are you sure? ¿Cuál es el sujeto de esa oración? The subject is my co-worker. ¿Por qué? Oh, no, no, you. Ah, huh? no, the subject in the answer. What is the subject in the answer? I studied with my co-worker. I? I, I is the subject. ¿Estoy preguntándole por usted? No. Estoy preguntando oh. con quién usted realizó esa actividad. Right? Entonces, no es una subject question. Oh. Porque mi respuesta no fue esto. Mire, ven aquí. Subject question, yes. Uh -huh. okay. Esto va con esto. Right? Esto va con esto. Right? But this goes with this. And this goes with this. Okay. Right? Do you see the difference? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Uh, any other question right now? Alguna otra no. pregunta? No. Seguro? No. Okay, perfect, Oscar. Have a beautiful night and see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.